at the, at the FT IRENA uh, panel, um, I started to talk about the structure of the utility because there was um, the CEO of 50 Hertz, which is one of the German transmission companies, was, uh, was on the panel. And it became a very interesting discussion about Eon's decision to split the generating capacity out and just have renewables and the retailer and would that be a model for the future and I said absolutely yes because what we see is essentially in the developed world you see enormous overcapacity in generation not, not in the UK but in, in, in much of the rest of the developed world because there's been huge incentives to add renewable energy capacity and ineffective incentives to remove the old capacity so you now get to the point where the wholesale prices are all crushed. So being a, being a, um, a generator is, is a horrible place to be. Conversely, innovating and coming up with new services up at the sort of uh, the clean web end of things, sitting close to the client and helping the client to procure clean energy, helping them to load balance, helping them with de offer demand management services, helping them to install and maintain clean energy on their roofs. That, that, you know, if you nail that, then there's high margins because that's the growth area and the area that not everybody's figured out. So, um, energy so I, efficiency also. And, and helping, to, helping them, yeah, and then enabling energy efficiency. So what you've got is then the, the classic model, we, call them, we tend to call them utilities, they're actually, the Australians call them gen tailors. They generate okay. and they retail. Okay. They will split because the generating bit is so kind of old school and unpleasantly being crushed and the other bit is actually quite exciting. So, and then the other bit, the innovative bit, ought to actually think of itself as a telecoms company because it's not just selling bulk kilowatt hours, what it's actually doing is selling services. So you get an itemized bill for each tweet you send, but you don't get an itemized bill for each time you open the fridge. Why not? Or, or, for, or at least for the fridge, maybe that's too much <laughs> more information than you would need. But you know, it, the, but the sorts of services that you'll be talking about, the, web, the clean web services, um, those because are telecoms type. Of things as well. Yeah, exactly. So, so then I see, I, I see, I see then the, um, the the customer facing utilities perhaps merging. So you'll have um, instead of telecoms companies, you might have el el elect telecom elect companies yeah. or or um, tele util you telecom you te utility well, I went, telecom. Yes, I don't know what they'll be called. And did you come up with this? Because I haven't seen this. I, this uh, no, but I woke up. I woke up in the middle of the night, thinking, uh, "This actually is really going to happen." And so I went online and I, I bought. In the middle of last night, I bought uh, the domain names. Um, I have to remember. Michael. Telectro. Dot co. And electrocom. Dot com or so electro oh, okay. I can't remember so what they are. I can't remember what they are. Telecommunications, I telecommunications and electro. So a, 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 exactly. So instead of a telco, you should be you have an electro telco okay. or a tel electro com and so on. But this merger, and I think it's really going to happen. We'll be talking about. <laughs> Uh, you know, we'll absolutely be talking about them. Now, the regulations but might does, not allow. Does it. that mean that you might be considering starting up? No, I just thought that okay. I would own the domain okay. and then I would sell it to the highest bidder. Okay. When somebody wants to become a combined um, electrical and uh, telecoms utility, I'll sell them the, 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 the domain name for it and that will be my retirement fund. Yeah.